Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need with another 3ds Max video tutorial. In this video, we're going to go ahead and quickly go over um, edge loops and why they're important, especially character modeling. Uh, I'm going to be doing a character modeling video soon here. And the head is, I guarantee you, going to look better than this one. This one I did really quick, I just kind of threw it together. Uh, it's not too bad for the amount of time I put into it, but still. Um, the one that we create will be better than this one. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's got no, like, areas that need to be fixed, really. Uh, these dark areas are not like it's that part of the model here, as you can see, F4. Um, that needs to be a little bit bigger, I think, or moved a little bit. Mostly because I just uh, scaled down the polygons of this and added a mesh smooth. But if I take off the mesh smooth of everything, uh, it looks a little better and everything's filled out. So it's better. Anyway, um, that's beside the point. This video is not about my head, it is about edge loops. Okay, uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to render out a picture, wireframe picture, of uh, my edge loops on this model. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, um, so here's the rendered out image. And you'll notice that that's missing, but that's only because the render is off. Anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me. Basically, edge loops, what they do is they flow. They make a constant flow of loops that you can see in the eyes, and you can see it coming all the way around here. You actually can see it in the left side of the head as well, um, which I'll go ahead and take off this material now. Yeah, I'll just add this material. It doesn't really matter what kind of material I add. Um, let's go make black wires. Okay, And now you'll notice that uh, right around here, in this area, that the the head has loops as well in this area head as well in this area and everything kind of flows together in all viewports so in this viewport the edge loops flow here but they also you can see them flow through the whole nose and eye as well in the left viewport um, now this is really really an important task for animating as well because without these edge loops when you stretch the face parts of the face are going to look different than others and it's going to just mess up your whole head as far as animation goes also you'll notice that it looks smooth even with a mesh smooth modifier with zero added to it the smoothness of the face is really still pretty pretty good now if I add obviously if I add another iteration it's going to look even better all right, and you'll also see that the way I have it set up is it's the edge flow kind of is a little bit of like a droopy kind of um, U shape, I guess, or a backward C shape, as you can see here, uh, which kind of makes it so that way it's a little bit easier to see. And it's really, really, really important to grasp this concept when you're doing animations and. Um, and just getting your whole proportions of your face and character's head correct. Because without all these edge loops, what's going to happen is there's going to be parts of the head that are just going to look awkward. Especially out, up towards the top of the head here, instead of looking round like a normal head, it may end up looking square. So that's something that you have to just uh, check with your re reference images and everything about. Um, I really couldn't believe that nobody made a tutorial on this on YouTube but still. Uh, this is just a quick and easy kind of video for it, just so that way to get you a little bit introduced to edge loops and why they're so important. Uh, you need them for so many more things than just animating, you need them for modeling as well, because it helps, again, with the formation of the whole head itself, and making it look correct as far as realistic. Uh, obviously this one doesn't look as realistic, because there's no textures added to it, and it was just kind of thrown together in like an hour but still other than that like it's just edge loops again are just probably one of the most important things ever as far as for flow of your uh, mesh and your animation alright I hope this kind of cleared some things up I know it probably confused some of you 
Um, I hope it did clear th some things up for some of you if you're looking for uh, <coughs> head modeling or something. Uh, if it didn't, um, you, there are a whole bunch of written tutorials out there that can help you with edge loops. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, the next video is going to be using this head again. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. Uh, you can probably guess. Probably first instinct is probably correct. But I'm not going to tell you. It'll probably be released this weekend um, or the middle of next week. Alright, I hope to see you guys in the next videos. And uh, please rate, comment, or subscribe. Thanks.